First and foremost, we want to give praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders who rule well at Great Millstone. Sanitation to all the Akiams out there who preach the gospel in sincerity and truth, Shalom. Now, this evening, we want a less, small lesson to feed the elect men out there of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, showing that uh, uh, King Solomon is Yahweh Shai through the scriptures, right? So we start with um, Psalms, 1, Psalms 110, verse 1. He said, this is Psalms of David. He said, the Howard said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. So there was King David saying that Yahweh, who, who, who is the name of the Father, said unto my Lord, Sit down at my right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. Right? So... You go, to, you go to the scripture and show who, who, who sit down at the right hand, which is uh, Yahweh Shai. Right? We get um, Hebrews, Hebrews 12 and 2. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. He said, Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set, that was said before him endured the cross, I mean endured the punishment, the stuff that he made true for us, you know, the pain that he suffered through his body, despising the shame, and is sat down at the right hand of the of the throne of Yahweh. Right? So this Yah this is this is Yahweh Shai sat down on the right hand. So King David said he said, Yahweh said unto his Lord, right? Sat down at the right hand. You know, this is what King David is saying. Yahweh said unto his Lord, sit down at the right hand until he make the enemy thy footstool. Right? So we get um, <coughs> uh, Force uh, Kings. <coughs> uh, First Kings chapter one verse uh, verse forty five. See, oh yeah. First Kings chapter one verse forty five. And Zadok, the priest, and Nathan, the prophet, have anointed him king in Gion. There's anointed King Solomon. And they and they are come up from hence rejoicing, so that the city rang again. This is the noise that he have heard. And also Solomon sitted on the throne of the kingdom. And moreover, king's servants came to bless our Lord King David. So the king's servants come to bless the Lord King David. Right? Yahweh make the name of Solomon better than thy, na thy name. So the Mosai make the name of Solomon better than the name of King David. Right? And make his throne greater than thy throne. So Yahweh make King Solomon's throne greater than King David's throne. He said, and the king, which is King David, bow himself upon the bed. So he bow himself, you know, to, he bow himself to, to King Solomon, his son. He bow himself to King Solomon. Right? And also, thou saidest, the king, which is King David, blessed, blessed Yahweh, power of Israel, which had given, given one to sit on my throne this day, my eyes even seeing it, right? So King Solomon bow his, King, King, King David bow himself to King Solomon. King Solomon was made greater than him in name and, and his kingdom, right? Second uh, uh, Samuel, Second yeah, Samuel uh, seven. I started verse uh, verse twelve. 
2 yeah, Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. He said, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee. So this, this was, that was the most I speak to King David. So he said, When King David did, when King David did be fulfilled, and, and he died, he shall sleep with his father, and I will set up thy seed after thee, which is King Solomon, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Right? Verse 13. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Verse 14. If, Salaki, I will be his father, so the most I sin, I can be a father to King Solomon, and he shall be my son. So the most I say, King Solomon can be my son. Right? If he commit iniquity, if he sin, Salaki, I will chasten him with the rod of men. So if he go off sin, he can punish him with the rod of men. He can use men to, to, to punish him, to beat him. He either beat him to death or stone him to death. Right? He say, and with the stripes of the children of men, or with stripes of children of men, they're going to beat him to death. Either with, either with, with, with whips, whatever, they're going to beat him to death with stripes. Right? So we back 14 again. He said, I will be a father. I will be, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. Right? There's the most I speak in t t telling King David. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and use men to use men to chasten him. Right? And with the stripes of children of men. So you can use stripes of children of men to chasten him, right? So you see how, you see how King Solomon went off. Now uh your first um right, it's how King Solomon went off now. Um uh, Right. Yeah, this is uh this is first Kings chapter eleven verse four. For for it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods and his heart, which is mine, right, and he said and his heart was not perfect with with Yahweh, his power as 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 was the heart mind of king david his father right for solomon went after ashtarad the goddess right this he got the easter the fertility the, the, the female deity a greek goddess you know what i mean therefore solomon went after ashtarad the goddess of the zidonians the africans and after the Mil milcom the abomination of the Amorites, right? It's um, verse six, and Solomon did evil in the sight, in the sight of Yahweh, and went not fully after Yahweh, as did David his father. So Solomon sinned, right? So you pull up a quick precept showing what is sin. So Solomon sinned by going after what idols, right? Uh, First John. Uh, 1 John 3 and 4. He said, This is 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed a sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Right? So we see which, we see which law he transgressed. He, uh, he started to worship idols. Right? Uh, that's Exodus uh, 20. Exodus 20, verse 3. Jesus chapter 20 verse 3 he said thou shalt have no other gods before me king Solomon went after other gods so he transgressed the law right so most i say right the most i say in um second uh second samuel uh seven seven and um uh seven and sixty uh, he said, Salaki, uh, Second Samuel 14. 
He said, I will be I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. Right? And with the and with the and with the strife of the children of men. Right? So Solomon went out by, by worshipping idols. So the most I say he can he can chastise Solomon. Right? So we see if Solomon gets chastised, chastisement will be for die. Right? So we can um same um uh, for us uh Saraki. Right. Yeah, this is Forest King Chapter eleven verse forty. Solomon sought 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 therefore Saraki. Yeah, Solomon sought therefore to kill Jer Jeroboam, which is his son, Jeroboam his son, and Jeroboam arose and flee into Egypt unto she unto Shishak, king of the e each king of Egypt and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon. So King Solomon died and he wasn't he wasn't chastised with the stripe of men, with the stripes of the children of men, and he wasn't chastised with the rod of men. He died in his old age. Right? It's, um, and the rest of the acts of Solomon and all that he did and his wisdom are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon he said and the time that Solomon regained in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years so Solomon died in his old age right he died in his old age he wasn't chastised for the, for the sin that he committed by went after other gods he, 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 didn't, he didn't get chastised his chastisement for that right so yeah um, uh Second Ezra, Second Ezra chapter, uh, Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse thirty-five. It says, "For after death shall the judgment come." So after we die, the body go back to the earth, the spirit go back to the spiritual realm. We get judged for the good things we do, the bad things we do. And then we come back to return the fourth generation. He said, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Right? So we come back. We come back and pay for, pay for what we do in we past life. Right? So we get, uh, we get Hebrews chapter 7, verse 27. Hebrews Hebrews chapter 7 uh, Hebrews start, start from 26 Yeah, this is Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26 He said, For such an high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Right? Verse 27. Who needed not daily as those high priests? So those high priests back then in ancient times used to go off daily. So they went to go off that so used to make us to go make a, a animal sacrifice. Right? Who's needed not daily? as those high priests to offer sacrifice first for his own sins but when you have a shy while the earth he didn't sin but he's saying he first for his own sins and then for the people which is israel for this he did once when he offered up his own self right so let me the yahweh shy is, is King, King Solomon is Yahweh Shai in, in reincarnation, right? Because it's saying, eh? it said, Who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice for, for his own sins and then for the people, which is Israel, 
for this he did once once yeah i wish i offer up his body once who do you want to know the god jesus christ when he offered up himself he did it once to cleanse the nation of israel mostly the elect are only elect and repent to toward the israel can die on this side in a polluted land but they can come back in the kingdom through, uh, through the elect men through boy ascendant right so um you get more clarification you get forest peter uh forest peter yeah, this is forest peter chapter 2 verse 24 he said whom his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes he were healed remember the most i said salaki i will be a father unto him and he shall be a son unto me if he commit iniquity i will chasten him with the rod of men and with the and with the and with the stripes of children of men who in his own self bear our sins yahweh in his own body yahweh shai on a tree that we being dead to sin we being dead to sin that he took the the what the the elect men gonna, gonna repent should live unto righteousness they're gonna be righteousness in the eyes of yahweh Hashem yahweh shai by whose stripes were he healed we the elect men were healed through uh, the stripes of yahweh the stripes of yahweh shai the punishment that he being true the suffering that he being true right so it's his stripes day so king solomon didn't get his stripes yahweh shai come back and they said he forced it for us for his own sins and then for the people which is israel right uh we get uh uh, um, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 53. And remember, the most I not a man that you should lie, you know. Maybe the most I say you can do something and do it pertaining to uh, Micah 3 and 6. He said, I, I am Yahweh, I change not, you know. And um, they got like Numbers 20, 23 and 19. You know, the most I that a man that he should lie. You know, uh, you know what I mean. If he say, if he say, you can, you can, you can, you can chastise, you can chastise you. Pertaining to um, this uh, I get this one here in Isaiah, Isaiah fifty five. Uh, Isaiah fifty five. It's Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. So the most I say you can chasten him with the rod of men if he commit iniquity. Right? And Yahushua was chastening with the rod of men in tribe of children. He was punished. Right? But it shall come, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. So the most high word, when the most high speak a word, it don't return, it, it don't return, it don't return back to him void. It accomplished what it accomplished what he's saying and you know, it, it will accomplish. Alright, so yeah, I see my Isaiah. Uh see my Isaiah 53. 53 and 10. This is Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. It says, Yet it please. Yahweh to bruise him, please most I to bruise him because the most I love him. He said, If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of children of men. So he said, Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. He had put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall, he shall see his seed and he shall prolong his days. And uh, 
and the and the pleasure and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, so please the Heavenly Father to bruise him because who the Father love, he chastise it. You know, he chastening whoever the Father love, he chastening. You know? And like you show in the scriptures in um, King Solomon died in the old age, he didn't pay for his sins. You know? Alright, uh, we get um, we get Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy. This is this is Deuteronomy chapter eight verse five. Thou shalt consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so when a man our man will punish his son when his son going off, he can punish him, right? So Yahweh thy power chasteneth thee. So we the father gonna use he can use he can use men to chastise you. Like, that's why he said you rather men. Are the, are the children of men, the stripes of children of men. He used nation to chastise his children. He don't come off your children and chastise you. He will use another nation to punish you and oppress you. You know what I mean? It's how we chastise you. You know what I mean? He said, Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh thy power chast chastise thee. You know, so... King Solomon died in an old age, he wasn't chastised, but he come back as Yahweh Shai. He said, Spirit come back as Yahweh Shai. And he was chastised by the rather men. He was bruised. And he was chastened by the, by the stripes, of, the stripes of children. You know what I mean? By the stripes. By, by his stripes, where, the, where, where, where our sins were, was forgiven. You know what I mean? This is uh, the sins of the elect men. You know, because only elect can repent. You know? They, their sins was forgiven. You know, because only elect can repent, two third of Israel can die on this side. You know? So, you know, with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying, you know. I wanna I wanna give praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Sanitation Ali Akim's out there preaching the word of sincerity and truth. You know, I wanna say shallow one.